I could recall, the guy was, was determined to do that. He could not. They were asking for all kinds of, it's a lot of money that you need to, to do. And funding is, is just like voter education. You need a lot of money to undertake voter education in, in this country. And no one body can do it. You and I have to be. What I have not seen, a lot of big organizations, companies, they are not coming on board to support the election project in this country. Forgetting that unless we have good elections, we cannot recruit good leaders. If we don't have good leaders, underdevelopment will persist. We cannot solve, respond to the challenges of underdevelopment. Do you think there was any difference when, you know, they had Fedeco buses? When INEC had to, the, the commission had to provide for, they took charge of their own transportation system. But now, INEC has to rely on NURT, I think it's better now. You have to have source. It's you better now. What would you do with the vehicles after election? What do you do with the vehicles? This is a waste. I mean, these are community assets. Look, in, in 2011, when we were doing, uh, 2010, 2011, yes, when we started January or so, when we started a compilation of voters register, a large number of communities in this country, they came on board to partner with INEC but if to mobilize at, people to come out and, and register. But from the perspective this, of this these are national assets. Today we're told that as at 10 a.m. for this particular election, only 41% of polling units had opened. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you will resolve that by assessing transportation distribution of election materials. Look at the data in 2015-2011. It was about 80% on the first day, on the day of election. By before 10 a.m., 80% of the stations are distributed. We just have to look into what is wrong. And that's why I said you need to decentralize. The dynamic would have to decentralize. But I think somebody somewhere must be thinking seriously of what are those functions that I can defer today to state uh, uh, resident electoral commissioners. But more of the time they are high, they have to go to Abuja, do this, do that, whereas they can do a lot of things. Is it wise we, to give it to them? Because I mean, haven't seen what they've done with elections. What have they done with elections that you are... Uh, the candidate, the, the party in power usually wins almost 100%. No, I'm not talking of... Oh, no, I'm not talking of SEC. I'm not talking of state independent electoral commissions. Oh, okay. I'm talking of the resident electoral commissioners, oh, which are 36 oh, member okay, plus FCT 37 okay. in the state. So that so INEC can... Do they have the devolve. structure? Oh, so sure. Sure. It's a big... Each, each of the offices, they are big enough. They can handle quite a number of things. Even I would have suggested they can even print... Some of the ballot papers at the state level. So do we split the functions between SIEC and the RECs? No, not do SIEC. Combine? No, no, SIEC is different. SIEC okay, this is, is the REC. State in, Independent in Electoral Commission is owned by this. It's a creation of law. It under has the, nothing under to each do state government. under each state government. It has really nothing to no relationship with the with INEC. So Other than INEC should provide it with uh, 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 the, the voter register, the voter list. Okay. And if it has any complaint, it can... So uh, this the, can be forwarded to INEC. The ballot that you're saying that the Rex can print, is it with respect to no, the I'm just national giving an elections? I'm, I'm, for national elections, I'm just giving an example. Okay. There are some, there are rules. Maybe not even printing, because that's a very sensitive security document. Maybe not printing of ballots. But there are functions that can be carried out by resident electoral commissioners. Without, with all INEC need to do is to defer to them policy guidelines, do this, do that, print your photo register, do all these things on your home. Is that all yeah. you need to speed up the process? Yeah, to speed up the process. And then we, you, the logistic challenge will be, will, will, be, will be minimal. If they can do their own procurement, biro, um, uh, calculators, all those small, small things they can do at the state. Who's going to fund them? Oh, federal government funds. They provide funds for INEC. Okay. Because he who... <laughs> provides no, the funding. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Maybe see, see, the when, when, you, when you look at the organogram, the chairman of INEC and the commission are on top. Then the national commissioners come next. The next is the, the resident electoral commissioners. And then they have administrative officers. What I'm saying is that by the time INEC now decide to give more responsibilities to resident electoral commissioners, this is the guideline. This is the policy. Get all this done. Then if you, are, if you are unable to do it, then we can know logistic challenges in Edo State. You are guilty of that. What has happened? Then you can, you can, be, you can, you can be taken up on that. Stop talking about those logistics. One other critical one is uh, the recruitment and the servicing of yeah. ad hoc staff. Ad hoc staff. For it's, a big, it's a big challenge. Um, I don't know what happened, but I know the Jagalet Commission tinkered with the possibility of having a data bank. Just like you have here. When you are looking for experts in some areas, you know where to go. You're looking for in law, in political science, in this, you already have your list. Just call them. Come, we need to discuss. We need to discuss. And they can do the same. I'm, I'm sure by probably would have done that. 
you have trained so since 1999. Just imagine the number of people that INET are trained as presiding officers. You don't need to be retraining every time you want to do election. You can just pull, you know, recruit from, from, from that register. And with technology, anywhere you are, are you in Casino State? Okay, you have been recruited by INET. You participated in 1999, 2003, 2007. You've you done three previous elections. You can imagine the dexterity, the, the, the expertise with which that bad person will bring, rather than somebody who is a novice, who is coming for the first time. No, and you will not even be able to set up the ballot box, not be able to even get the, the, the ballot paper to the voter, or no, not know how to look at the name in the register. So you wish you have that. Once you have that, you have used people before as professors or senior lecturers in the university who had served as returning officers. You don't need to look for fresh ones. Since they are there in your data bank, just bring them out and look at them. Mm -hmm. And some of the university teachers that are used this year, they've done elections two or three times before. And that is why I've not seen any of them making any silly mistakes on the television. Did you see any? I doubt. No. Because they already developed the expertise. They are used to the forms, how to fill the form, and they will have even gone through refreshers training. You can even do the training online for people who have been trained before. They don't need to come to the state headquarters of INEC to be trained. So what we need, those are areas where we can have more value. And then you can begin to look at people who want to volunteer their services. Well, honestly. The welfare of those same adult staff was also a major concern. Yeah, but you see, Heineck would never be able to have the fund. Let people see this as a national exercise. Let them see it but as... they will need enough incentive they, to I be know, able to make they, that commitment. Well, you can, they can never have enough. Nigeria, no. You see, let's look. We started this process. Look at what happened in uh, 1989 was far better. 2003, we should be looking at quality, qualitative improvement in the process. Before, result of election will be announced. Why can't it will be going on? We're not seeing any of this before. We're just talking of a few hiccups here and there, which should be taken care of. Let's be positive, but there's no other alternative to being positive. Where there are improvement later on, what I think is more critical for me, we must not suffer a decline. 2015 must be better than 2019. 2019 must be better than 2015. 2015 must be better than 2011. That's the way to 2023. 2023 must be better than 2019. That's what should be targeting. We must not lower the standard at all. We must not descend from where we are. We had achieved a lot. There will be challenges in any electoral process. That's actually one of the reasons that we're talking about all these exactly. things. Exactly. That would be challenging. How do we mitigate the challenges? Know, it, that should be our primary it's, concern. It's, it's, uh, the, the hope is that people will be able to look forward to being called upon for national service as ad hoc staff of INEC for these kind of things. But when they see pictures and they get reports, yeah. I don't know how, how but, but encouraging they, see, that what is. I said to people, we cannot be too negative about our country. We can't be too negative. I told my students in class yesterday, I asked them, they, these were children, they, I mean, they were, they were undergraduates. They probably were, those, quite a, about 90% of them, they are product of democratization. 1999 to now is about 20 years. Some of them are below 20 years. And some of them, those that are above 20, uh, up to close to 20, they had obtained their, some of them had obtained their parent photo sky. But most of them didn't participate in the electoral process. I said, no, don't give up. They said, nothing is going to change. I said, no, that's a negative attitude. If everybody thinks that way, then there'll be no change. There'll be no difference qualitatively in the way we live. And I asked them, did you want to live the same kind of life that your parents lived? Most of them said, no, they want to improve. How do you want improvement? You don't get to the state realm. You don't get involved to communicate your policy preferences to, to policy makers. You know, we must keep on. There are challenges, there's no doubt. But the, the greatest, what I'm looking for, I would like to see the report of uh, the International Observers team of Nigerians, what will be their verdict on this election compared to 2015? How be more comfortable if their verdict is that, of course, 2019 is far better than 2015? Then I'll be, I'll be confident that we are making progress. Okay. So even if you are not making good progress in respect to certain uh, criteria, it's not an excuse to give up. We look back, do a review, and see what went wrong. And if there are people to be sanctioned, in any organization, either the police or INEC, let them be sanctioned. And I'm sure INEC constantly, on a constant basis, sack people, suspend them for malfeasance in the electoral process, for committing uh, electoral offenses, unknown to the majority of the public. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, is the spirit we should keep on, we should keep <coughs> going.
Well, you can see happy faces of uh, <laughs> some of those who have won uh, the waiting to, for the president to arrive for this particular event where he picks up his certificate of return. Uh, you see the chairman of the party. Mm -hmm. No, the no, no, picture there, the foreign affairs minister. Ali Mudu Sharif also, the Mamora. Um, quite a number of them. We also saw. You know, it's uh, good to win elections. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to win elections. What I want but, to say, Chamberlain, mm -hmm. gentlemen, honestly, I, I want your, your station to champion this. Zero sum politics. We not stake all. Yeah, that was it's where I was battles. going now. <laughs> That's it's just the point I was battles. about to make. Yeah. Look, how good will it be if we have in place a system that will allow. President Buhari, party won 50 something percent, yeah. percent, 57 or so percent of the votes. The other party, the major party, PDP, won about uh, 40 something or so. Just imagine the synergy, if it is possible. Okay, that would give me electoral violence. Yes, give me 40 percent, 43 percent of my ministers in this, in this following portfolio. I decide this portfolio for my, for my party. And that's proportional representation. So everybody is a winner. There'll be no need for you to take your exit from any party. There'll be no need at but, all. You know, when the president was making this speech... And you'll be the leader. You'll be the one, who, you'll be the one dictating which mm. policies, preference you prefer because you because have won the election. You can actually do that now. I think former President Obama just tried it at some point. But I don't know how that works well, The out. one person that I recall who did was, it was during it? the tenure of Governor Bissar Kande in, in Oshun State. Okay. I can recall vividly. But he recruited a PDP prominent person into his government, Farumbi, into his government, and he left him to do what he wants to do with the, the broadcasting station of Washington State. But, uh, That's the way. Would you look for the best, not necessarily within your party, somebody that can add value to what you are doing? But I'm even talking of a constitutional amendment. Uh, uh, yeah, if okay. you can do a constitutional okay. amendment, okay. that would be it. Because if, if, if you don't have the legal backing, no, you can't if do the it. person comes in, he can uh, defer to your party. Uh, and that uh, uh, yeah, that, that's the head. No, no, you are right. You are right. Most of them that go, went into an alliance during the MPN, they eventually, they eventually after a while you recall, when I close, you said, okay, you said you are going to leave the, 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 the alliance. Uh, you've given us notice of a battle. No, we are issuing you a notice of a week. You must leave. They, didn't, they couldn't leave. So it's a trust issue that. <laughs> yes, it, it, it's, a, it's a trust issue. But once, once you have a constitutional backing, you know, even if contesting for chairmanship, for any office, for senatorial, if somebody contested with you, of course, all of us cannot be in the same direction. It's no offense for people to contest with you. Yeah. It's no offense for people to say, I want to challenge you. You should not take that as an offense. But once you have won the election, it be, you, what is of primary importance to you is what is governance. Mm. And you want to govern well. If he has the result, if he has the result you can even ask him to come because along. Because part of their challenge what you now want to is do? after spending all that money, amount of money, they lost you everything. End up with oh, you lose everything. To, look, Chamberlain, to lose election in this country, people can commit suicide. Because it's, it's all consuming, it's all engaging. People sold, even for councillorship. I've seen cases where people sold their houses. And I heard that people take loan from banks. They take loan from banks. The stupid bank would be, well, if they have the facility for <laughs> the collateral anyway. So I think the way out, and like you rightly said, and I endorse that, is going to reduce the, the, the resort to violence. Because you are a winner too. It's just that you cannot take whichever way, whichever it, way you gain something. Is our then you then, you see, that for me, for building a country, for building a, a country, a developing country like us, it means that you are not wasting away the 40 something percent of votes yeah. that have been cast for a party. Mm -hmm. And so you're now asking, bring your what you want to do for the people. Let's compare, we can see that. Yes, and juggle it and see. But, but in reality, do you think that our political maturity has advanced to that stage? No, what should happen is for the key players, key state actors, the political parties, the political barons to see that it's a question of the mind. Why should it be difficult to share? But we share in our culture, in our cultural practice, we share things with people. But when we share yeah. that, then how strong can the opposition be? No, the opposition will still be there. It will also be pretty, you see, what you do, what you are going to do is to get some of the best aunts who are professionals to join you in your government. Not the party leadership. But Not the, the party leadership will still be there for looking after the, the next election. But, the party... but after a while, after we, okay, look at the parties the way they are. You see, not... Similar to proportional representation, what is happening now? Yeah. People took their entrances into APC, mm -hmm. 
when it matched to become a formidable political party in 20, 2013. Now some people are taking their exit. Some people will come in. What people will come in now? Is that not sharing? Because they want to have a bite. Sharing or, or absorbing. No, you know, whatever it is, <laughs> they are joining you because they don't want to be left out. So see, political exclusion can be tantamount to political suicide in this country. Because once your party had formed a government, it comes into power. It upon, look at the power of the president in this country. Upon people, it's ministers, <laughs> into bureaucracies, the chairman of parastatus, university governing councils, everything. So I don't think you can even leave the, you can decide to leave the fringe positions for the person, but it's a constitutional issue, which I'm sure we put it in place, we experiment with it, it is better, but my fear is that we, 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 we are losing too much to political violence. Mm -hmm. And these people will now be hiding for the next four years. Uh, what, what's your take on the performance of the new political gladiators, the younger uh, politicians who are just coming in? Well, I think the, the, what I'm not comfortable with is that they, the, the big parties should have created an avenue for them to become like young APC, young PDP members, so that they can learn and they can grow. That was the way some of the founding fathers of this country, that's what they did. They support people, they bring them on board from whatever sources they have. Because we, we are yet to arrive at a stage where people can decide to volunteer, to give resources to parties in order to, for, for, on basis of volunteerism. They will need a lot of resources to start new political parties to traverse the nooks and crannies of, of this country. But it's good for our democracy. It's an exercise of their civil rights, which is good. But how formidable they can be in terms of being taken as uh, in terms of making an impact in the political space. Do you think they, they were able, even, what if they were able to come together as a force, as a third force, as it was in Bandit then? You know, they, these are very new peripheral parties. It, it's going, no, to, be, we, we, we'll it's going to be the difficult. We'll see the arriving, so the, mm -hmm. uh, the process is about to begin and end. <laughs> 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 so uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, it's just a pick-up his uh, certificate mm -hmm. of return. Mm -hmm. So uh, before long, uh, he'll get into the hall, I think. He's the one everyone uh, is waiting for. So you might have seen images of the uh, inside the hall as well. So now this... It's where they're all mm. uh, lined up waiting for him to come forward and pick that up. You know, just as you said, I mean, who knows? But the president can kickstart that process, wherein after he's sworn in much later, he can make a comment or two about, okay, well, we'll see what can do about Because if you look at his uh, acceptance speech, why he says he would like to, uh, the unity of this country is mm. very important to him. Mm. Uh, he doesn't, uh, he, he will walk towards ensuring that no one is felt or is left out, mm. or the field mm. left out. Mm. So, uh, if that's the thinking, they can from take his a little bit From his campaign utterances, <clears throat> it might not be advised to move in in that direction. And this is his last term. And I'm not sure Buari has ever been afraid of going into elections. He's done so as a professional contestant. So, <laughs> it will not be, there's no other time for no, him the, yeah. after this. So, there's nothing to be... So, that can be a legacy. I think it will be a good legacy. Be. So that we pull resources together. And, and then people can, they know there's something for them in this. They try hard to make sure you score up to this. You can even put a, a, a bar, say if you score up to 25%, you will have that opportunity. And that can even quieten all of this, you know, much talk about uh, restructuring. Because it's all about sense of belonging. Uh, yeah, What's yeah. Made it's it? to have a bar. You want to just have something, access to state yeah. resources. Whatever the ways, whatever the means through which you have created that access. I mean, I'm sure that would be it, you know. Well, let's see if we can, uh, well, well, yes, you can see the president. Let's see if we're going to listen in a little bit before we get into the hall. Can we? Okay. Um, that's, okay that's, that's, that can in company yes. of his wife, in company of his wife, that's okay. uh, the, the president, mm -hmm. uh, just uh, going through the pleasantries, really. Uh, so many dignitaries are there, uh, from the APC especially, uh, but of course, You'd expect that <laughs> perhaps no PDP <laughs> person will be there. But that's it, uh, the Minister for Aviation. Uh, Aldo Albe is also there, the AGF. Adam Sushoma that we saw earlier, all making their way through. The uh, Minister for Petroleum, uh, Ibe Kachiko, also uh, part of that uh, uh, process. And the Vice President is also uh, 
just trailing behind the president himself. And these are the new um, leaders that will take us through the next four years.